Hello everyone, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be continuing on with our Chicago Northwestern passenger train here. And we're going to be learning how to build these bi-level gallery cars. And once I've taught you how to do that, I'm also going to show you how to modify one into the cab car for the back of the train here. Now this is going to be an updated build here, as I have built this style of car on our Chicago Metro train a long time ago, but these cars are unique in that the upper floor is not a full floor. There's a row of seats on each side with a little walkway with a railing, and the middle is open looking down on the bottom floor. So last time I built these, I ended up having to make them seven blocks wide because there was just no way to accurately fit that type of interior inside so the inside was accurate but the outside wasn't. This time we're going for exterior accuracy and scale so we're only gonna make it five blocks wide here and we're just gonna have to cheat a little bit on the upper floor of the interior since there's not enough room at this scale. So since we won't have enough room on the upper floor for seats, two walkways, and an open space we're just gonna have to climb over the seats to walk around on the upper floor but this will leave us with an accurate outside scale. So let's get right into it. So take out a dark oak stair for the coupler and we'll attach that up to the locomotive we built in our last video on the second layer. Under it, a sideways dark oak med skate. Then behind that in the center, we're gonna add four more sideways dark oak med skates coming back. Then on the next block back behind these fence gates, we're going to put a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're going to take polished deep slate stair right here and we're going to go five wide facing backwards. Then in the middle, we're going to put two polished deep slate blocks, then a two by two of slabs here and a two by two of slabs here. Then we're going to turn around and we're going to put five polished deep slate stairs coming across facing forward here. Then behind this we'll do another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we're going to come through and put a hopper on the side of all four of these wheels. Then we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four of these hoppers. Then we're going to take out polished black stone brick block and come on this second layer in the center. And we're going to come right off this coupler and we're going to do a line coming down the middle on the second layer. And that's going to be a total of 40 blocks long. So 4 zero, 40 blocks. Then once we have 40 blocks, we're going to turn around and stack up a dark oak stair on the second layer here for the coupler at this end. Then come start under the coupler and do five dark oak fence gates coming in. In front of the fence gates, on the next block forward, we need to get a set of netherite wheels on each rail with an end rod axle. Then in front of this, we're going to do five polished deep slate stairs coming across, facing this way under here. Then we do two polished deep slate blocks in the center, a two by two of slabs here on bottom, and a two by two of slabs here on bottom. Then we need to turn around with polished deep slate stairs again, and we need to get five stairs coming across facing this way this time. Then in front of that, another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then same as before, we'll come through and put a hopper on the side of all four wheels. Next, we're gonna crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And same thing over on this side. Then we're gonna take dark oak fence gate and we're gonna put two on the middle of this right here and two on this side. And we'll repeat it for the truck at the other end. So we'll do two here and two over here. 
Now come stand up here and crouch. And we're going to put a sideways lightning rod here and here. Then do the same thing on this side. One here and here. And of course we're going to repeat that for the truck on the other end. So come down here. And we're going to put one here and here. And then one here and one here. Then we'll take black stone brick block and we're going to start on the side of this right here and we're going to do another full row on the side of it down to the other end and then stop right here and then same thing on this side we're going to add a full row black stone brick block on the side of it on this side and bring that down to the other end And then stop right here. And then we're going to put a fence gate on either side of this coupler up here. And then same thing down here. We'll put a fence gate on either side of this coupler as well. Then come on top of the end and do three black stone brick blocks across the end here. And on the side, two oak stairs facing outward. And then two stairs on this side. And of course, we'll repeat it at the other end. So three black stone brick blocks here, two oak stairs on the side here, two oak stairs on the side here. Then we're gonna take out cyan terracotta on this top middle, start at one end, and we're just gonna do a line straight down the middle all the way to the other end. Then on the side of it, we're gonna do a full line end to end of smooth stone blocks. And then same thing on this side, a full line end to end of smooth stone blocks on this side as well. Just like that. Now come on the top edge of this polished black stone with oak slabs. Start on the end and do a line of 14 slabs coming across. Then come to this end, start from this end and do 14 oak slabs across here. And then we're going to repeat it on the other side. So start at this end with oak slabs. Do 14 coming in across here. And then come to the other end. Start from this side and do 14 slabs coming across right here. Then we're going to take dark prismarine stair and put an upside down dark prismarine stair going into the slab on either side. Then turn this way and put a stair going into the slab on either side of this end. Then across this middle section, a row of dark prismarine blocks right here. And same thing on this side, a row of dark prismarine blocks across here as well. Now take out yellow concrete, start above this dark prismarine stair on either side and do four yellow concrete. In this center, we're gonna knock out these two rows in the middle and we're gonna come over here and do four yellow concrete here and four here. In the very center of this, two polished andesite block, then two polished andesite slabs on either side of it like this, then two birch doors here and two birch doors here. Then right here, continue yellow concrete all the way down to the end. Same thing on this side, a full row of yellow concrete here. And then get the other half of the car, yellow concrete down to the end here and yellow concrete all the way across this side right here. Now we're going to come down to the end of the car here and we're going to put three iron trap doors on this middle. Then we're going to put an oak door in the center and a two by two of dark prismarine on either side. Then five dark prismarine across the top. Then we're going to come up and over around the door with deep slate tile walls like that. Do the same thing down here. So we need to get three iron trap doors on here. Then an oak door in the middle. Then a two by two of dark prismarine on either side of the door. And five dark prismarine across the top. Then come up both sides of the door and over the top with deep slate tile walls here. Then we'll switch back to yellow concrete. Start right here on this outer edge and do a full row of yellow concrete 
over to the door. Same thing on this side, a full row of yellow concrete here, and then get the other side as well. So a full row of yellow concrete right here, and then a full row right here. Now come on top right next to the door and put four yellow concrete here and four on this side. Do the same thing over here, so four here, four here. Then we're going to put two temporary blocks above the doors on each side. And then we're going to close two birch trap doors on the temporary blocks of each side. And then remove the temporary blocks. Then we're going to come down over here. And we're going to do two cyan stained glass panes. Skip one, two. Skip one, two. Skip one, two. Fill all the gaps with yellow concrete. So we have four two block wide windows with a gap of space between each. And repeat it here. So two stained glass. Skip one, two. Skip one, two. Skip one and two. And then fill all these gaps with yellow concrete. Then simply come across. Copy your pattern of yellow concrete directly across to this side and fill in all the windows with stained glass panes. Then same thing over here, copy your yellow concrete directly across and fill in all the windows with stained glass panes here. Then we're going to come on this very top outside edge and start at one end with yellow concrete and do a full line of yellow concrete all the way across the top to this other end and then we'll do the same thing here a full line of yellow concrete end to end on the top of this side so now the outside of the first floor is done here now for the top half we're going to switch to dark prismarine block we're going to put five across the end on top and then we're just going to come all the way down the side up here with it Then when we get to this end, come straight across the back, and then come all the way down this side with Dark Prismary. Then on the next layer, we're going to put five across the top on the end, come down here, and put five across the top on this end. Then we'll switch back to cyan stained glass panes, and we're simply going to copy our window pattern directly up to this top layer. And then same thing here. Copy the windows exactly. And then we'll get the other side. Copy these four windows up. And these four. Then we're going to come above where the door is and put two deep slate tile walls directly above the doors. And then same thing on this side. Then we'll go back to Dark Prismarine, and we're just going to fill all the other gaps up here with Dark Prismarine. And same thing on this side. And then we get the other half. Fill all the gaps up here with Dark Prismarine. And this side. Then we're going to take a warp sign and put it to the left of these deep slate tile walls. Same thing on this side, put a warp sign right here. Then, for the lettering, because it's not going to fit and line up correctly, we're just going to use oak buttons here. And we're going to come under this second window in from the middle up here with our oak button. And we're going to start right here, and we're going to do four buttons. Then we skip a block, and we're going to do three buttons. So it looks like this. Then we're going to skip one block over again, right here, and we're going to do four buttons, and then we're going to skip one block over again, and we're going to do five buttons under these two windows. So it looks like this. And that represents the lettering, and we have to do it on the other side here. So come over here. Start under the second window, do four buttons, skip a block three, then skip a block four, 
then skip a block and do five buttons. Next, we're gonna finish off the end of the car here. So we're gonna take out Dark Prismarine Block, come on top of the end and do three in the middle. Then we're gonna put three green stained glass panes here and three here. And then we're gonna repeat it on the other end. So three Dark Prismarine on the middle up here, then three green stained glass panes here, and three here. Just like that. Next, we're gonna work on the interior, so come inside here, where these middle doors are. And we're gonna put an oak door here, and here. Then on either side of the door, two polished andesite on both doors, and then three across the top of each door. So three here, and three here. Then we're gonna come in here, and start working on the stairs. And this is where we're gonna have to cheat some to make this interior even work at this scale. So we're gonna come right here and put a polished andesite stair facing inward. Then next to it, we need to do this L shape of polished andesite blocks like this. Then we're gonna put a stair here and here going this way. Then close the trap door on the side of those two so there's a handrail. So it looks like this so you can get up to the top floor. Then come on this side over here, do the same thing. So a stair facing inward, an L shape of polished andesite, a stair here and here going this way, and close trap doors on the top two. Then for the seats, we're gonna use warp stairs. Come down to the end and start putting a row of seats on either side with a gap of space between them. When we get right here, we'll put two inward facing stairs right here. Then we're gonna take out a torch to actually light this here. So we're gonna put one torch here, come to the very end and a torch here and here. Then we need to copy it on this other end, so come all the way down here. Same thing, a row of warp stairs every other block up each side here. Then when we get right here, two inward facing stairs, then a torch here, and one on either side of the door back here. And now the bottom floor is done. Now we're gonna come above these middle doors, put two polished andesite on either side and two frog lights in the middle. Then two rows of three polished andesite to the top here and two rows of three here. Then we're gonna do the top floor. So we're gonna come off this stair with polished andesite on this level and we're gonna come all the way down to the end. At the end, we're gonna put two rows of three across the end and then we're gonna come back up this side. Like I said, these cars have an open space in the middle. Then back here, we'll put three warp stairs and then we'll simply bring warp stairs up each side. And this is what I was talking about with the scale here. We're gonna put two sideways ones here. At this scale, we don't actually have room for the walkways. We're gonna put a row of iron bars across this gap. There's supposed to be a walkway with a railing on each side, but we can't fit it. So this is what I meant by cheating this top floor. So we can fit down these stairs here, but when we walk around on top, if you wanna walk around on the top floor, we're just gonna to have to climb over the seats because of the scale. Then we're gonna put a torch here and here on the end, and a torch here and here. Same thing on this side. So we're gonna come off this stair with polished andesite, and we're gonna come down to the end. And we're gonna put two rows of three across the end, and then we're gonna come all the way back up this side. Then we'll put a torch here and here. And on the end down here, we're gonna put a row of warp stairs, torch here and here. Then we'll bring warp stairs every other block up each side. two inward facing ones here. Then we'll take iron bars right here. So at least there's some railing and we'll come across this gap with iron bars. And then we'll stop right here. And now the inside is done. Now come on top of the end and put an outward facing dark prismarine stair on either side. Then two deep slate tile stairs facing outward on either side. 
repeated at this end. So a single dark prismarine stair on either side up here. And then two deep slate tile stairs facing outward. Then we're simply going to go all the way across the top without we're facing dark prismarine stairs. All the way down to the other end of the car here. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. So start right here and do a full row of outward facing dark prismarine stairs on the top of this side. And we're going to bring that all the way down to the other end. Then once we have that, we're going to switch to dark prismarine slabs. Start on the end. We're going to go three wide on the top middle and start bringing this forward across the top three wide up here. We're using slabs so it will give us the space to climb over those seats on the second layer. When we get right here, we're going to stop and we're actually going to add three more polished andesite here and here. Then three dark prismarine slabs here and three here. Then in this gap, we're going to put a daylight sensor here and then one in this corner and fill the rest of this gap with dark prismarine slabs. And then we'll continue on on this side, three wide up here in the middle with dark prismarine slabs. And we'll bring that all the way across the top down to this end of the car. Right to the end here. Then we're gonna put a mangrove button on either side of the top on the end, come to this end, and a mangrove button here and here. Then we're going to take yellow banners to cover this green on the bottom, put two yellow banners here. Then come to this end and put two yellow banners here. Then we'll do the other side, two banners right here. And one more corner to go, two banners right here. Then we're going to take out a soul torch and put one right here next to the door. And do the same thing on this side, one right here. And this completes the build for the single car here. So what we need to do next is use the structure command to copy in or just straight build as many of these cars as you want on your train. I don't actually know how many cars these trains used to run with. So I just added a few on here to make it look good. And now we're gonna learn how to modify the back car into a cab car here. So we're gonna come down where the second oak stair is and we need to knock out all five of these blocks across this layer. And we're gonna put in five yellow concrete and then an oak button on each of these corners. Then we're gonna take off this stair and this stair. Then we're gonna come underneath. We're gonna knock out this second fence gate and we need to get three forward facing dark prismarine stairs across the bottom middle. Then an upside down stair facing outward on either side. In this gap, put a forward facing upside down dark prismarine stair on each side. Then we're gonna take off this fence gate and this fence gate. Then open a fence gate above each rail. Then we're gonna put a warp fence gate here and here. Now we're gonna grab a warp trap door. And we're gonna change these three iron trap doors to warp trap doors. Then we're gonna replace our oak door in the middle here, like that. Then we're gonna come up and do the cab windows. So we're gonna come up here. We're gonna change these two blocks to cyan stained glass. And then these two on this side as well. So there's one dark prismarine in the center. Then this one changed to yellow concrete. And on this side, change this one to yellow concrete. Then we're gonna come behind here, change this one to yellow concrete, and this one to yellow concrete. Then we're gonna come on the bottom, and we're gonna change these two to yellow concrete, and then this one here. Copy it over here. So change this L shape right here to yellow concrete. 
Then we can go ahead and take the banner off each side for now. So we should be looking like this right now. Then come up here on this middle and put two glow item frames like this. And on the bottom one, a redstone block. Then on this side of the top, on the very top edge, we need to put two warp fence gates up here for the horn. Then we're going to take out ladders and we're going to put three here and three here. Then on the side, we're going to take a skeleton skull and we're going to put one on the side right here and one right here. Then we need to make a banner for our headlight. So we're going to come into a loom with a yellow banner, gray dye, put a border on and a horizontal in the middle. And we're going to put this on the top item frame and turn it so that it is sideways like that. Then we're going to take a green banner, put one here, one on this side, then under a yellow banner here and a yellow banner on this side. Now we're going to come up on this corner and we're going to knock out these two blocks and put in two cyan stained glass panes. And then same thing on this side, change these two to stained glass panes for the cab windows. And now we actually have to do the interior of the cab. So go ahead and come on inside here. And come up where the stairs are. Come up the stairs and this is what I'm talking about. We have to come over the top of the stairs. We're going to take out this stair and this stair and then these three. Also this iron bar, put in a polish andesite in the middle. And we'll also take out this one and put a polish andesite in the middle. Then right here, two polish andesite blocks with a door on either side. And then three polish andesite across that top. And that'll be the little doors to get in to the cab. Then we're going to come inside here. We're going to put a lectern in the middle. Above it, a glow item frame with a compass, and then a lever over here. Then we'll come back out here. Above each door, close an oak trap door. Then come back inside the cab, and we're going to take out the polished andesite block here, leaving only the trap door on each side. Then we can put a stair here and here for seats, and then this leaves us time to climb over that seat if you actually want to get in the cab. And actually up here we'll take out one more iron bar and the stair on each side and a polished andesite here just so there's space. So now we can actually at least climb over this and get into the cab if we want. It's a little cramped because of scale. So there we have it folks. We've completed our Chicago Northwestern bi-level coach and cab cars. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, real fans.